Yeah, so I mean, first off, it's got a very classic presentation. It's that real, you know, paroxysms, electric pain. It's just horrific. You can see patients in front of you, and they just, you know, their face just all sort of spasms into this horrible, just contorted look. It's it's a very, very classic thing. Versus, you know, if you have more of an atypical facial pain, now called persistent idiopathic facial pain, often that's more of a nagging, more vague. This is just very precise. It's just like a bolt of electricity that's going across their face. The biggest issue is you don't get a lot of teaching and training about about pain conditions in general. Um, I do think I see better rates of trigeminal neuralgia being diagnosed um, than other conditions that I see, like migraine. Uh, it's often um, when it's first presenting to someone like a dentist, that's where I often see the, the diagnosis really being missed or delayed um, because it can present and feel like it's just this, this specific tooth and they just spend, I've seen a year or two where they're just focusing and trying to find what's wrong with this tooth. And then they think they're going to the pain spreading because of the procedures that they had, their teeth pulled, so that made things worse. But really when you go back, they had that teeth pulled because they had this sort of electric spasm of pain in their tooth. So that's when I see, I think, the, the most common delays. Um, if they do make it to somewhere, and especially if it's not just really focused on the tooth, but that electric jab across their face, I find those people come to, to presentation a lot faster, but yeah, when it starts in the tooth, that really delays things. Yeah, so in terms of the slate female predominance in trigeminal neuralgia, I'm not sure if we really know why. It's about three to two, so about three female to two males. And, you know, it, it doesn't seem like I've, I've really recognized any hormonal component like what we might see with migraine. Um, and I mean, oftentimes it's not clearly something genetic where it would be sort of a female predisposition because of that. So for instance, in classical trigeminal neuralgia, it's really, you know, whether or not there's that vessel up against the nerve. So it's a good question, and I don't know that we know the, the answer really. I do think men present differently, um, but it's one of those conditions when they have it, I do find they seek care. So there, there is something about it, but yeah, who knows why.